I've um, come across this um, uh, this video right here on YouTube that um, well um, you're gonna get my, you're gonna get my point sooner or later. Link in the description, all right? That video. So it hit upon me on um, uh, that video regarding um, limiting beliefs, all right? Because um, all the motivational um, YouTube channels, they have, um, they have tackled this, um, this topic over and over and over again. And I think I know why. Now, of course, um, uh, let's pre-frame something. Of course, uh, limiting beliefs is bad. Okay. If you have um, limiting belief, limiting beliefs, well, uh, the success you might not you might not get the success you want because these will be the things that will hold you back. All right. But um, all the motivational YouTube channels are um, have been well have been um, drilling this topic to viewers over and over again, and yeah, I think I know why. Because if you think of it hard enough, if every single human on the planet, all right, would have at least one limiting belief and this goes on for um for years it has been well, how many how many humans do we have now in the world seven billion right seven billion limiting beliefs passed on um for years let's say for um, for decades, the, the way I see it, that's a ticking time bomb in itself. All right, because if those seven billion limiting beliefs were um, were uh, are are still around by then, like um, 40, 50 years. Probably the world's going to implode. Mm. Yeah. It can happen. How? Right? I'll show you. I'll tell you how. Because, well, if those 7 billion limiting beliefs um, would still exist for 40, 50, even 60 years from now, and the... Um, I'm very sure the population has grown by then. Probably, let's say, at least well, conservatively five times. Let's say um, 60 years from now, the population has grown to 32 billion. Uh, 35 billion, let's say seven times five. Uh, yeah, seven times five. Over the years, okay, it has grown five times. You now have 35 billion limiting beliefs. This is this has well, in addition to the original seven billion now. Right? Well, 35 billion limiting beliefs can produce zero results. Um, no technology will advance. No, um, no new businesses will be created. No new jobs will be created. And well, people will simply be in a funk. Oh well, pe people will people have been in a funk for sixty years. Yeah. They'll be in. They'll have serious men. They will have serious mental health conditions. They will be um, demoralized as fuck. They will be. Um, 
Um, they will have trust issues with each other. Yeah? Severe trust issues. And um, self-doubt will be the dominant belief. Well, will be uh, will be the dominant trait that can happen, and probably um, great distrust for well, for for his or her government. No matter who, no matter who it is, no matter who's running it. Well, what am I driving at here? These same limiting these same limiting beliefs we have now can destroy the, the human population in in a matter of decades if this continues. That's the way I see it. So here's well here's my power tip for you guys. Magpa-power tip pa ba tayo? Isimpin lang yung solusyon. Stop thinking about um, um, what's about to happen, what's about to, um, what's about to transpire, the what ifs, right? That will stem out of these limiting beliefs. Well, if you want, if you want to be more direct, cross those limiting beliefs as early as possible because well you'll never know what kind of um what kind of children you'll bear uh, later on in life you may never know what kind of children your children will bear later on in life they may probably have they 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 will probably inherit the same limiting beliefs you have now that can happen. All right. So again, here's my power tip. The, the limiting belief is a doomsday device. You don't crush it now. Future generations will die because of it.